to win down the stretch? Yeah, all we knew is that if we got stops and rebounds, then we were going to be straight. And the offense would come to us. We played great help side defense, and we had a lot of uh, everybody who's in the game. Our uh, freshman in Tyler, he stepped up big and played like a freshman. He played like a senior. Frank, Kevin, everybody stepped up to us. What do you think about the last shot for Kevin? Did you, did you sense that he was going to take it again? Yeah, I, I knew he was going to take it again. You know, he just came up with a bunch of shots, so, you know, he had a lot of confidence going into that shot. So, knocked it down, he won again. Um, and obviously, uh, what does this kind of do for the stature of your program to beat a team like that, come in when maybe not a lot of people thought you could win this game, uh, kind of elevate you guys to that level of national power that you'd hope to get to? Yeah, it's going to give us a little more confidence, but all we know is that we got to come back in Monday, Sunday, Monday, and put more work in. Well, I'm pretty tired out from battling those two guys, those two big guys down low all game. What did you think about how you played today? I think I did okay. I kind of cleaned up some other things down there. I had boxed up better and, and got some more rebounds. I think overall, I think I did hard. Okay, Marcus, you knew you need to do that with Kadri out. And when did you know he was not going to play? Uh, this morning. This morning. I knew he was, going, he was missing a lot. Yeah. Uh, you know, Q is a big guy. He, big dude. He averages a double double rebounds, and he know I had to pick up the slack. Yeah, and Tim, our senior, he stepped up. Right. He got a lot of rebounds, battle inside. Tyler again, he battled inside there. And we came out with him. Just take a little bit of everybody, right? What did what did Coach tell you guys about that when Kadri was out? Did he need to say anything, or did you guys know exactly what you needed to do? Uh, we knew we had to step up for uh, Q. You know, he was, he was a little down, you know, that yeah. he couldn't play. So he just asked us to pick it up for him and win the game for him. For sure. How did you guys not, I mean, you guys didn't have a lead. You lost the lead the midway through the second quarter, and you didn't have a lead until overtime. How did you guys not quit on that? I mean, we believed in our abilities. You know, we, can, we knew that we can get stops, and we knew that our offense was good enough so we can get put points on. So, you know, we just focused on getting stops, rebound, and we ended up winning. For sure. Thanks, man. You guys are such a young team. Do you feel like you grew in these three days in this tournament? Oh, yes, most definitely. You know, um, our chemistry is, um, is coming along. You know, we're starting to know more, like, our assignments. And, well, it's obvious that we have a young team, so, you know, everybody's stepping up and playing more, like, more than upper classes. I mean, like, just a giant player taking down the top-ranked team in the nation. Is that, I mean, how does that feel? I mean, it feels good. We knew that we can do it. But all that's left is that we got to come in Monday and put some more work on it. Yeah, and you obviously have a lot of season left to go. Just talk about the goals moving forward for the rest of the season. I'm sure after you knock off number one in the nation, where do you go from there? Uh, just keep working hard in the gym. Getting better every day. Limit, uh, we get better on the uh, breakdown. Defense all day breakdown. And then hopefully win. <laughs> How about uh, uh, three or four, whatever, how many days you guys have been here in Springfield? Uh, just thoughts on uh, this tournament? Oh, this tournament is good. I love this tournament. You know, the atmosphere is great. You know, the fans, I've never seen anything like this. It's, just, it's a beautiful place around here. I even enjoyed the Bass Pro, um, the Bass uh, store. Yeah, it was pretty fun. I'm not an outdoor guy, but I love it. It's cool. You got to beat Oak Hill and beat the top team of the country. Yeah. Which one is more serious? Uh, I mean, it really doesn't matter. We just treat them as any other team. Just come out, just play hard, and do what we do. And, Hope for the best. Have you seen the list of MVPs in this tournament? To be a part of that list, what do you think? You know, I'm not here. John Wall, who else? In the I'm trying to think of all. I mean, last year was LJ Rose, who's at Baylor. I mean, you're talking about top notch Division One guys. We'll show it to you after. How's that? We'll show it to you after. But it's a pretty good look. Morning, Demarcus Cousins, Greg Monroe, all those guys. What do you think to be among those same players? I'm proving a blessing. Just hard work. Even though I got to put more work in, you know, starting to pay off.